Today I'll be taking you the tour of most affordable but at the same time best school zone neighborhoods in Broward County very close to Fort Lauderdale and this city what we are going to visit that's very famous because of the low tax property taxes also. So in this video, we'll be going around few neighborhoods, taking a live tours, and also showing you some properties in these neighborhoods. I'll throw you some names, but these are not limited to only these neighbors we'll be talking about, because in general, I'll be comparing Coruscant versus Parkland, or even other A-plus school zone city. For example, Weston is very close by, very comparable to this Parkland. And we'll be talking about why this area of the Coral Springs much better to live most affordable plus you get the best benefit to live and at the same time you don't have to compromise a lot and there are a few differences that's why I'm showing you some properties also so you will understand the why this part of the course spring I'm very fan if you are looking to live in a plus school zone and affordable numbers This city, it's called Coral Springs. Coral Springs is located next to Parkland and the zip code specific neighborhoods in this zip code we will be visiting, this is 33076. The reason I'm mentioning specific zip code because Coral Springs has a multiple locations and multiple zip codes, right? It's a very big city. But this particular zip code has the bestest school zone in Broward County. So the main benefit of living in Coral Springs, especially 33076, you are paying very much less property tax. It's only 0.7% to 0.8%. If you go towards Westin or Parkland or even Boca Raton, those are have a similar style of school readings. That's why I'm comparing only the zip code 33076 because not every other zip code in Coral Springs are great. They have a mixed school ratings and that's why people live, try to choose 33076. The pricing of this zip code comparing with the Coral Spring of other zip codes are different too. But again, the reason I'm saying for a four because you are living in one of the best culture, best neighborhood, plus you are saving tons of dollars. So one of the things you are saving is property taxes because you are part of Four Springs. You don't have to pay what Parkland charges you. And you are not too far from Parkland too. Let me show you how. Now my most important other point is property prices. So real estate price in Coral Springs is completely different than Parkland. And you get much better value than you buy in Parkland. Let's say you compare 800,000 property or at the, one of the property, let's, let's see the live example. So I'm gonna show you the $849,000 property, which is where I'm standing, this one, and I'm gonna show you inside and show you some peculiar layouts, points, which I really love it, which you may not find absolute in Parkland. Because this is, the layouts are made around 2000. They had a very versatile feel. Also, the lot sizes were very big. So if you even check here in a front yard of this house, and the driveway, uh, you know, from there only you can make it out. It's so bigger uh, lot sizes, which you do not find. See when this side is part of this house and look at this one. And on the backyard, I'm gonna show you just in a minute. But in Parkland, once you enter, it looks new. It looks very brand new, okay? Don't take me wrong. It, there is a different feel different benefits to live. So as I said, not every area is perfect. So I'm trying to, you know, it's not apple to apple comparison. They have apple and oranges comparison because living there has a different benefits. So it does look new, but it looks like you're living in a townhouse feel because the lot sizes are so small and I hate that because I live in one of the one acre plus lot sizes and I enjoy living outdoor. And my kids, my family, they live they enjoy basically Florida weather 365 days you have a beautiful weather here 
So you can take very much great advantage of outside. So this is the great comparison where you buy in Parkland, let's say around $850,000 house versus here. And I'm going to tell you the secret. Here, you can negotiate much better. So, because Parkland is has a hype, but this area is a little underestimated because, you know, people think like, okay, why don't I spend more money in Parkland and I get a title as a city Parkland, right? They don't think about it. This is very unique because Parkland is still growing, you know, as new communities, new neighborhoods are coming there. So the prices will not, I mean, it's not gonna go down, but there will be all this competition. But something like this, which was built around 2000 plus, it's not too old and not too new, but bigger lot sizes, low HOAs, those are very hard to find in Broward County. So I personally like this kind of, and there's not much restriction. I'll be talking more about HOAs just after I show you this house. Another thing, it does matter to a lot of my buyers who are moving from other states is not having gas. So this is the electric uh, range. In Core Springs, there are not at all ranges, like, you know, gas ranges, basically. It's electric ranges. And that's one of the issues a lot of people talk to me, like, you know, if we can get with this gas range. but. The only way to go, you know, make some changes is let's say the kitchen is on the other side or across the wall. A lot of people, what they do, they put a gas tank, like a big propane tank, and that's the way you could have your own private gas range. So there are ways to do it, but you would not get actual gas connection in, in Core Spring area. In Parkland, or even you go to Boca or Westin, there are some communities you would have a probability of getting those, especially which are newer communities. And other things what people do is having the summer kitchen outside. So that's something is easily can be done. And I recommend having, no matter what, you should have your summer kitchen in Florida. A lot of things you can avoid doing the mess inside if you have your own summer kitchen. Now let's talk about a little bit of numbers and also we'll be talking about the property insurances. So one downfall in Core Springs, you know, when you buy a house, I'll show you some real examples also, is your property insurance may be a little higher when you buy because roof may be not updated because most of their houses are built around 2000 or 1990 plus built if it is older than 1990 then definitely they are roof is changed in 2010 or uh, around that time or maybe this just changed recently but most likely in this neighborhood 33076 area which i'm showing you those are built 2002 or around 2005 in that time frame then it's not changed and they're almost out of the life like so most of them are five years or six years you know the roof lifespan and that is why this can be taken positively and can be taken negatively because in this current market you can pretty much negotiate anything even the partially remodeled property the properties are staying too long in this market and core spring as i told you before has a great power in negotiation so when i see the older roof that's opportunity it's a functional opportunity to negotiate officially with the seller unless they price very correctly but your property insurance will be higher so that can be the temporary issue because once you change it and update it they, they will give you different but it's not like you won't get the insurance because that's a myth a lot of times people think oh in Florida you cannot get a property insurances yes there are some issues going on I have some specific videos on property insurance issues I would like you to check out those if you want more knowledge on it because it's not very simple way to say there is issue or there is not issue is a lot of explanation on it but long story short 
if you buy something has an older roof, then only one option you would have is a citizen. You would have a tons of options there in insurance quotes, and that is why your quotes may go higher. Another one disadvantage you will see having the doors and windows, like, you know, all the sliding doors, those will be non-impact windows and doors. So that's, that's kind of another reason your insurance will go up, but this could be again temporary because you could do easily changing the doors and windows to impact windows in financing, even after the closing. You, you don't have to put your pocket money. And this is a chance even pushing your equity up because if you buy something older like this and do you remodel by yourself, not only just doing the kitchen, floors and bathrooms increase the value, but in Florida, if you change the doors and windows to impact window, it does does push the value up. It is expensive, but it does push the value up. And there is a way to do if you don't want to pay right now, like two years, you have a 0%. You can even put in your taxes too. Just like if you heard about doing the solars, just similar way you can do impact windows, putting on a taxes, not paying from your pocket right away. So a long story short, the property insurance may go higher. You know, it's a reality, but it could be temporary. So how fast are you will take a step to correct those issues? Until then, you do have to a little bit pay higher property insurance. And property insurances are not, you're locked in some rates, okay? It's not like interest rates. So if you are paying right now XYZ amount, and if you correct those things, you change, you tell them, do the reappraisal, and at the end, you will get it. You know, you will easily get, you know, your refund back if you have overpaid it, and it will revise to the normal number.